It's the Joe Your Essential Oil Girl. How you doing? My internet has been really awful today, so we'll see how this one turns out. Yeah. It's Thursday. Happy Thursday. I'm trying to catch the sunset, and literally the sunset is already set. But last time we did this, the y'all got to see the colors after the actual sunset. So I was hoping it would work, but it's not so far. So keep your eyes peeled. It could happen. It could happen. You know what I mean? So what y'all been doing today? I have wonderful, wonderful news for anybody that knows how to fix an ice maker. I'm in search of somebody <laughs> that can fix my freaking ice maker. I'm so sad. Whenever, whenever we redid our kitchen a couple years back, um, I debated about even getting one because I knew I would be disappointed. I, I've just never had excellent luck with um, ice makers. So I shouldn't complain. It started muffing up probably about three months ago. And I figured out if I opened it up, took the took the tray out, and put the hair dryer on it for like five solid minutes at high, it would defrost it enough where it would start making ice again like 12 hours later. And then, but the problem is whenever it gets full, it gets full, this little ice maker, it's a, I don't even know, Samsung, I think, whatever. Um... The design is bad because I looked it up on YouTube and everybody's like, yeah, you know, for this model, yeah, you got to basically take the entire thing apart um, and telling you how to defrost it. So I think it's just a bad model that I got, but I think I officially killed it. I was mad at it the other day and I, was, I was kind of manhandled it a little bit more than I should have. Which probably means that I bent something that's messed it up. Yeah. So, no ice for Lisa. And like I said, whenever I was buying the refrigerator, I wasn't going to get an ice maker because I knew this would happen. And once you get spoiled by having an ice maker and being enough to get ice, you miss it when you don't have it. If you don't have it, you don't miss it. But whenever you have it, then you miss it. Does that make sense? So if anybody local knows anybody that knows how to fix an ice maker or give me any suggestions on who around Cocoa Beach would be somebody to call, I would love that. I, I know I can Google it and look it up, but I'm like, I, I'll ask you guys while you're on here. John is like, just call them. Just call them. There's a number on the refrigerator apparently. And I was like, it's, it almost feels like I'm giving in to something because it's like, I feel like I lost a battle with the refrigerator, and if I and if I call somebody, that's like admitting defeat. <laughs> so, dang it! I'm so first world problems, right? Jeez, Lisa, how are you ever going to survive without an ice machine? I thought about buying one of those that sits on the counter. Michelle had one. I don't know if she still does, but it sat on the counter. It made that good ice that was crunchy, you know, the little bit. I don't know where she got it from or, or what, but I looked up those ice makers, and they're big, and they're expensive for somebody cheap like me. And I got a little bitty kitchen, so it's not like I got counter space. Then I thought maybe I would buy one, but how do you fill it up? Do you have to have it actually hooked up to the water line? Or do you literally dump water in it every day? Which I'm okay with. I just don't understand how they work. Because I certainly don't know how to hook up a water line to an ice machine that's going to sit on the... I was thinking, could I put it on the dryer? That would be in another room out of the way. Is that is that okay if I did that? Anybody? Is it okay if I buy an ice maker and put it on my dryer, which is in another room. Is there any reason I can't do that? There's a plug-in. I can find the plug-in for it. Let me know. Let me know. It's, I'm so distressed over this ice maker thing. Because we've been playing this game for, like I said, about four months now. And it'll, it'll about once a week. What happens is it gets too full. 
and the ice gets stuck over the top, and I have to go in, take out the tray, knock off the ice that's stuck up in the whatever, defrost it, because the whole thing's froze up, shut the thing, and then 12 hours later, it'll donate ice again. But this time I made it, I, I made it mad, so. I know, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous, but hey. So, I know y'all curious about what I've been doing all day. I did go to walk class today. I'm going to try to remember to take my uh, phone and video some of it um, Saturday, maybe. Because we got a pretty big group in there. There's uh, She's doing some hard stuff right now, but it would be entertaining for you guys. Let me just put it that way. Watch it. Oh, boom bunch of old people trying to <laughs> exercise. Anyway, I got that. I got that. That was good. I got me some steps in. You know, that's important. Um, but the rest of the day, I've been working on my YouTube channel. And I want y'all to know, I'm so excited. I have now 52 subscribers. <laughs> Which in YouTube land is... Um, comical, but in Lisa land, that's like almost double what I had six months ago, so woo, woo, yeah, yeah, it's okay, it's okay, I put the link in here in case any of y'all want to go and, and subscribe, it doesn't, you, to, in order to get credit for actually doing videos, you have to subscribe. And one of one of my acquaintances was has a YouTube channel, and they're like, "Some I need you people to subscribe to my YouTube because I'm under a thousand thousand views or something." I was like, "A thousand views? <laughs> That's awesome!" Mine's got like two, three, <laughs> one. Uh, it's okay. I notice whenever I do a short or one of the reels. Um, they get a lot more action. I mean, I got like over a thousand on some of them. I'm like, really, people, you you like watching me walk in the rain? <laughs> but, but on the other hand, honestly, I'm just moving these over to there. So y'all have already seen these, but you can still subscribe. I mean, I'm thinking there's people in the world that are lonely and want to hear people talk. So that, that I'm going to fit that bill. Y'all are not going to get any color tonight, and I'm so sorry. It is beautiful. There's a lot of pink going on out there tonight. That's so weird how that works. I guess the sun's in a different angle. Did I hear that daylight savings time is coming up? I think I heard that. Y'all let me know. All right. I guess that's all I got tonight. My boyfriend is at a gig. They are playing at Melbourne Municipal Auditorium. And I am being a terrible, terrible wife and sitting here doing my own thing while he's doing his uh, concert. So, yeah. That's okay. I don't even know. I don't know if it's a dance or just a concert. They do both. But I'm here talking to y'all. Getting a little color now. Look at that. It's a little bit of yellow coming in. Uh, I feel like I just, I got to find the sweet spot on that for y'all. Because really, what's the point? It just looks like a big white blob out there right now. It's too bad. It's too bad. All right. I guess that's all I got. I hope y'all have an excellent evening. And I will chalk. Chalk? I'll talk to you tonight. I'll talk with you. I'll talk with you tomorrow. And y'all know, if you have any questions for me or any world situations you want me to solve or comment on, I'd be happy to put my two cents in. Y'all know. <laughs>